Hello everyone. Let's understand oogenesis in our today's topic. Oogenesis is formation of female mature gamete that is ovum. It is markedly different compared to spermatogenesis because it begins at the embryonic life itself. Lots of oogonia multiply mitotically and increase their number at the embryonic life. Later on, no more oogonia are added nor formed. Now, this oogonia are deployed in nature, have got 46 number of chromosomes. They undergo differentiation to form primary oocyte, which is again deployed in nature, have got 46 number of chromosomes. This primary oocyte undergoes meiosis 1, but gets arrested at the plotting stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1. It resumes only after the female child is born, her entire childhood is crossed and her puberty is reached during significant increase of gonadotropin releasing hormone. This meiosis 1 resumes and forms two unequal haploid daughter cells, one big secondary oocyte and one tiny first polar body. That first polar body may, may not undergo meiosis 2. It may degenerate at that particular stage itself. This secondary oocyte, which is haploid in nature and has got 23 number of chromosomes, undergoes meiosis 2. Now, that also gets arrested at metaphase 2 of meiosis 2 and it resumes only if entry of sperm occurs, which means during the process of fertilization. If at all there is entry of sperm, then the meiosis 2 resumes to form again two unequal haploid daughter cells, one big ovum, haploid in nature, possesses 23 number of chromosomes and another small tiny second polar body which is again haploid in nature. Oocytes are also surrounded by layers of cells called as granulosa cells and that forms follicles. Regarding follicles, we will cover up in the next video. I hope the topic is clear. Thank you.